Hello, my name is Barbara Reed and I'm the Wexford Stamper. And today we're going to be making this long, thin box with a belly band. And this is a great box for holding any kind of goodies, from jewelry to candy. So this box is made using products from the Best Dress Suite. And this is a wonderful new suite that's in the new mini catalog. And if you don't have a demonstrator and would like to get your hands on this catalog, please give me um, a message and I'll be glad to get it to you. It is just beautiful. This is the best dress suite and it comes with so many fabulous products. We're gonna be using a piece of the designer series paper here. And we're also gonna be using some of the stamps from the dress to impress bundle. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, this box has a fold over lead, lid with rounded corners, and then I put the belly band on to secure it and hold it closed. So very simple box. It's a great box to make because you can actually make two boxes from one piece of cardstock. So it's really quick and easy and very economical. All right, so let's go ahead and put that away and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we're gonna start with a piece of li lovely lipstick cardstock cut at five and a half inches by eight inches. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bring up my Simply Scored board and on the long side, of the paper, that's the eight inch side. We're gonna score at one and a quarter and six and three quarters. Okay, just those two. All right, I'm gonna turn the paper to the short side and we're going to score at one and a quarter, two and a half, three and three quarters, and five. Okay, don't worry about these um, dimensions. All these will be available on my blog. I've got several 3D projects and cards using this suite that you can check out on my blog. All right, let's go ahead and take our paper off our Simply Scored board. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and bring in a template to give you an idea of how this box is gonna come together. Okay, you're gonna have, one, notice on your paper, you have one end that has a very thin rectangle along the front middle. Now that is gonna be your flap that goes across um, the top of the box and folds down in the front of the box. Okay, so what we're gonna need to do first is on your piece of lovely lipstick, you're gonna take a scissors and you're gonna cut off these two the, the thin rectangle and the square there, you're gonna cut those off on both sides. Okay. Okay, just like that. All right, now, these are going to be the side of the box, so we're gonna have to have these cut in from the side to the first score line there on both sides. Okay, there you go. All right, now the center, I'm gonna pull in my template here. The center square here is gonna be what is showing on the side of the box. And then these other two flaps here are gonna be adhe adhered on the inside of this panel. So when I do my cutting here, I'm going to wedge these two flaps a little bit on both sides and they are gonna end up folding in behind the middle section, which is the um, side of the box. All right, so let's go back to ours here and we're gonna go ahead and we're going to do a little bit of snipping here just to make those tabs easier to maneuver and fold around on the inside of the box. Things won't get so crowded in there if you take a little bit away. Okay, there we go. 
All right, the last bit of cutting I did on my template here was I used my um, corner rounder. Oh dear, where is my corner rounder? Oh, here he is, sorry about that. They always seem to hide when you need them. All right, and I'm gonna stick that in there and just round the front corners of the flaps just to make them look a little more professional, I guess would be a good word. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and put our box together. But before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take our bone folder and let's go ahead and fold up and crease on all our score lines. I um, was with a bunch of stampers just last weekend and I talked about how I really am not a girly girl and that this set I didn't think would appeal to me, but boy, was I wrong. It's just beautiful. The colors are beautiful, and I really am enjoying um, working with it. All right, there we got all our um, creases ready to go. Now I'm going to grab my Tombow, and I'm going to put a little bit of glue on those four tabs, the ones that we cut. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get my other one, which is more full. Okay, and I'm going to just put a nice thin layer of Tombow on those four. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and let's look at this side first. I'm going to take my middle panel, because this is going to be the one that shows, and I'm going to fold the other two tabs behind that middle panel. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna hold that for a minute. See, by cutting off the little edges of the tabs, it helps it fold together because there's a lot of paper right there. And when you fold and cut off the edges, it makes it lay a little nicer inside. All right, let's do the same thing here again. We're gonna fold these two flaps behind that center panel and just hold that there. All right, and believe it or not, our box is now finished. See how fast that comes together once you cut it? There is not much to, to do in the folding process. All right, so now we've got this ready. The next thing we're going to need is our belly band. And this is a piece of the paper that I cut from the um, Best Dress Suite. And this piece is three inches by five and three quarter inches. Okay, now this I find is the best time to use my tear and tape. And for those of you that don't know what tear and tape this, this is a two-sided um, tape adhesive and it's really strong. And once it's down, it's down and it's gonna be tough to move. But I find that this is a better choice for the belly band than the glue. I do like using glue with my boxes, but the belly band, I like to use the um, tear and tape, but you know that's your, your choice, whichever you like best. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna remove that piece of tear and tape. Okay, and I'll show you how I put this together. I don't do any kind of um, scoring beforehand because I find that it's hard to get an exact fit for your belly band. I just kind of um, will put it on top like that and then when I get it to a place where I think it's about the middle, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna use my fingers and I'm just going to push down and kind of crease it along the top part. Okay, then I'm gonna turn it upside down and I'm gonna do the same thing again, but I'm gonna bring down the side without the tear and tape first and then I'm gonna bring the tear and tape piece over like that. And you wanna pinch a little bit and then you got your belly band. You want it to be tight enough that it doesn't move by itself, but you want it to be able to move pretty easily for your um, recipient when they get the box. All right, the last thing we need to do, and I'll bring in my sample here, is make the tag. And this is a real easy tag. And what I actually did do, I did some prep work here. I um, stamped and cut out with my dies the little flower that's gonna be on there. I used Granny Apple Green on the leaves, and I use Lovely Lipstick on the flowers. 
And this is one of the stitched circle framelit dies. These are awesome to have. They have circles and ovals and squares, everything you need. Um, and I get so much use out of these. So I really love having those. All right, now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in my Petal Pink ink. And I'm gonna use this little watercolor brush stroke mark um, image. I'll show it, I'll show you here what it looks like. Okay, it's just like a bit of color. And what I did here is you can notice that the um, color on here is a lot lighter than here. And the, why I did that is so I would have my sentiment stick out a little bit. So how you do that is you're gonna ink it up on your petal pink ink pad. You're gonna stamp on your work mat, and then you're gonna go ahead and stamp on your circle. Okay, so then you have that same swoosh but you have it a little less dark because you do want your sentiment to show the most. Now I'm gonna bring in my gorgeous grape because there is a little bit of purple on the um, designer series paper and I'm gonna ink up this sentiment which says kindness is always in style and I certainly do agree with that. And I'm gonna go ahead and stamp it on my circle. All right. And there we have the tag ready to go. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how I adhere the tag to my box. And we are so lucky to have this beautiful ribbon that I've been using for so many projects. But this is a petal pink ribbon and then it has a metallic edge and it is just beautiful. And this is actually in a different suite, but it has matches so well with the um, project I'm doing here. And I'm gonna look back and I'm blanking on which suite it's from, but I wanna show you where you can find that in your catalog. I think it is in, all right, come on, Barbara. Okay, here we do have the little tassels and there also is some mint macaron um, ribbon that you could use that comes with this suite, but, um, it's with, I got it, it's with the Parisian Blossoms. It came to me finally, let me find that. Parisian Blossoms, which is another gorgeous set if you like um, the par Paris theme and you like beautiful spring designer series paper, this is a beautiful set. But here, Petal Pink Metallic Edged Ribbon. So this is where you'll find that. You're not gonna find that with the um, Dress to Impress but it is in the Parisian Blossom. So you might have to go over to that suite to find that. All right, so let's go ahead and let's put, make our ribbon here. Okay, I'm gonna take a good size piece of ribbon. Okay, now before we put this on, I'm gonna have to punch a circle with my hole punch. I'm gonna put that right at the top like that. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to start the ribbon on the back like this, and then I'm gonna bring it up and around, trying not to have anything turn over there. That looks good. Now, before I go ahead and do my bow, I'm gonna take my ribbon and I'm gonna put it right through the hole coming in from the back and attach that to my box. Okay, and now all I need to do is go ahead and make my bow. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and tie that around, bring that through, and squeeze it tight. All right, so there it is. Okay, I'm gonna bring in my scissors now, and I'm gonna go ahead and shorten those a little bit. I always like to give them a little bit of a diagonal cut. All right, last thing I forgot while we were getting so much into our ribbon. Okay, I wanna go ahead and make sure I use my Tombow. The one that actually has some Tombow in it. I'm gonna just put a little bit of glue on the back of the flowers. And then I'm gonna adhere them to the bottom right-hand side of my tag. 
just gently. There we go. I did it. All right, so there's two of those beautiful boxes. Very simple to make. If you would like to purchase any of the products that I use today, you can always go to my online store. I'll make sure all the links are in the description for this video. Thanks again, and hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.